happy day children i wish you all a, a wonderful day not this day what are the days coming let it be a happy day today let us start unit 4 prose uh see the picture can you can you identify him here he is rabindranath tagore you we all know it who has written our national anthem okay rabindranath tagore uh e won nobel prize Beng- I, and uh, he is a bengali poet and uh, is a author philosopher artist and educator wrote geeta anjali and uh, uh, my reminiscence it was written and published in his 15th 50th year shortly before he started on a trip to europe and america for his failing health in 1912 it was in the course of the trip that he wrote for the first time in the english language for publication this uh, extract which we are going to learn is from my reminiscence it was written and published in the 50th year before he went for a trip to europe and asia for his failing health for to take care of his health he went in 1912 before his trip he wrote this for the first time in english language for publication is it clear children so let us see the lesson uh, have you learned any of the poem or uh, uh, essay written by rabindranath tagore okay let us see the picture you see the picture what can you see in this picture it's a natural scenery already we have seen uh, the poem a thing of beauty is a joy forever from by john kids is it clear so this is a thing um you see the picture has been given i read and read the quote and observe the picture that is beauty lies in the beholder's eyes complete the graphic organizers uh, remember to use suitable adjectives already we have seen about adjectives so try to write by yourself let us go on to the lesson uh attractive whatever you uh, this attractive use adjective okay let us go into the tagore returned home from the outset of a second voyage to he returned from from england his brother jogendra lived in a riverside villa at chandar nagur in west bengal you know is a bengali poet bengal west bengal tagore went there to stay with them is it clear before you are going for trip no he planned for a trip so before that he went and stayed there with a sad longing tagore recaptured his incredible day spent joyfully along the wooded banks of the river gang so when he was child so he spent his childhood in the river in the banks of river ganges the bright sky breeze flow of the river it stretched from horizon to horizon greenery all were the food and drink for the hungry and thirsty soul of the heart so the beauty in and around they were the food and drink for the for the author for this angry and thirsty soul not for the stomach for his soul the author noticed many changes when he visited the ganges after a long time uh, the greenery had been replaced by huge noisy mills emitting snow it shows that the the natural the scenery that that replaced by the mills noisy mills that to emit smokes this might be go for good but the author could not agree on it this is for the good of the human so they economical status may be increased but it is not good for the nature and so author won't uh, was not agreeing with to that the author spent his afternoon at the river side singing songs at his own tunes and the playing harmonium um, sometimes he sailed in the boat singing songs with his brother playing the violin you can see in the picture uh, while until the evening till the evening they spent at night tagore sat on the terrace facing the river he viewed the v- river reflecting the moonlight dark trees bordering the river banks and a silver streak separating the land and water he just enjoyed the nature and he then he described his villa moren's garden it had stone stairs leading to a broad veranda the rooms were not on the same level they are not regularly arranged the big sitting room facing the landing steps and staircase glass windows and colored picture uh, tagore rooms was in the round tower on the top with windows around viewing the tree tops sky it was on the top uh, so you can view all the things tree tops 
and uh, wrote all his, his famous poem from this room and he, uh, one picture had a swing hanging from the dense branch with a couple on it the other picture of people walking on a staircase leading to the castle like palace in grand dresses these were the two pictures when the light fell on the glass pictures it made the scene alive this pictures when the light fell on the scene it made the thing alive next let us go for the a uh, glossary ineffable it's a adjective beyond expression too great to be expressed so it is beyond express uh, to express languid adjective moving slowly plaintive adjective sounding sad ministration the act of helping or carrying rough uh, caused clustering verb forming a group group cluster group belching verb to let air come out veritable adjective more exciting gad now clothes so the author speaks about the river which river is it kaveri or ganges yes it is ganges the author's brother name was joendra the dash glimmed over the moonlight the beauty of bengal and the ganges served as the food to and a drink to the author now question answers has been given so question answer i'll give you as pdf and you see the last one draw the images in the box after reading the text carefully after read the lessons fully and what do you what does come to mind you just draw as a picture the uh, box has been given in 95 so you can uh, draw and you can color it um, but uh, do safely uh, whatever comes to your mind you just draw okay children the question answer pdf will be given so you have to write in a uh, new notebook i think so i'll just say it clearly it is in a new notebook or it is a continuation i don't know i'll just say if you have a new notebook you can go for it otherwise you can write in your own uh, old notebook uh, and writing should be neat now let us go for the next one word of the day so word of the day uh, please make use of it children try to frame sentences on your own learn the word meaning and try to learn frame sentences today the word which you are going to learn is aspiration aspiration means a hope of achieving something a hope of achieving something aspire you achieve hope of achieving something corruption has been the aspiration of almost all the politicians since childhood a sentence has been given that corruption has been corruption you know it very well has been the aspiration of almost all the politicians since childhood so you would try to make a sentences using the word aspiration you just for you in rough notebook or in old notebook you just write the word so it will be useful for you uh, okay children complete your work as soon as you see the video just send saw the video by your name in the group as well as images not at all some of you are not at all sending the images send the images to and task completed also task completed after sending the thank you children have a nice day take care of yourself